Hey everybody, we are in Townsend. I'm Doug from Revan TV and Townsend, Tennessee is hosting the Smoky Mountain AD Nationals. And that's what these trucks over here are. These are all ADs or advanced design for those that don't know. And that's Chevy's and GMC's from 1947 to 1955 and in those years they built all these different trucks and one of the trucks that we spotted over here that is just super gorgeous is this truck and trailer combo it's a 53 and as it turns out I had met this guy before in Florida and he had another killer AD let's go meet him so Roger Lee is right here Roger, how are you today? Yeah, bud, how you doing? Beautiful. Yeah. You know, I didn't. I told people in my intro that you and I kind of knew each other, and as it turns out, you have had another, was it a 48? 48, yeah. Yeah, it was a 48 AD that was Pro Street, tubbed, beautiful, gorgeous red truck. And uh, you've moved on to another one. To another one, yeah. And then, <laughs> this one's a little newer. What yes. What is this? This is uh, a 53 Chevrolet 5 window. Um, I steered away from the Pro Street this time. I wanted something a little more drivable. So it's it's set on a stock frame, uh, Mustang 2 suspension, uh, chassis engineering. Um, regular just 10 bolt rear end, nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, small block 350. Let's go look at that. I, I mean, yeah. that, that's kind of unique on that. The front end of this has a, kind of a different carburation setup yeah. than you might see. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's a uh, three twos. Uh, decided to go with something a little more old school, you know, naturally aspirated. I mean, everyone's doing fuel injected, but kind of wanted to veer off the track just a little bit with it. Um, well, your friend told us that you had to custom make that fuel line. Yes, the so. fuel line's all custom made, um, stainless steel. My buddy Randy, his son's actually a welder, um, does he stainless steel welding. And, yeah, he helped me put that together there on that. And then you said underneath is a, um, what kind of, what did you It's do? Mustang 2. Uh, it's, a, it's a stock frame, but it's Mustang 2 with chassis engineering suspension in the front of it. Nice. You got uh, rack and pinion. Rack and pinion, yes. Beautiful. Air conditioning. It's a cruiser. It's a cruiser, <laughs> yeah. Just get down the road and go. It's Tough, beautiful. Man. What did you do uh, body-wise? And now, I now see you have some really unique little things like this Chevrolet right. logo, which is kind of Frenched in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's actually, that was the original indentation in the hood where the emblem would go. Right. So we filled the holes in it, and then uh, Howard Horn, a pinch driver, one of the last pinch drivers left in the area, actually lettered that for me by hand. That's beautiful. Uh, it's kind of a unique little touch that yeah, you don't notice. Something just a little different. Yeah. Uh, shade the door handles, um, right. pulled the drip rails off of it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's all smoothed yeah. out, nice, clean. Gas that's door, of course, is gone, or the gas filler that was in the side there. Right, and that's well, normally it's on the other side, right? That's on this side here. On this model? This, yes, on, on this side, side here. Okay, because some of them are Yeah, some of the other side. Five, window, five windows, which is always cool. And you got those tinted. Yes. Is that just film or? That it's actually, tinted? they're doing it now. And, you know, you technology's changing, tinted? yeah. Tinted? Yep, you okay. actually can find them tinted, which was. It. It's super clean. Yeah. Now the bed wood is uh -huh. not, that doesn't look like standard fish, but what's going on back here? <laughs> well, the, the joke is I call it Brazilian ironwood. It's actually a metal bed. Um, it's metal. It's metal bed that we bent to shape like the wood. Right, and, and then fit the uh, rails yep, in between it. Fit the rails in, we just we painted it to look like a burl. Uh, so this way I don't have to worry about the sun beating on it. Uh, like I talked about my original truck, the Pro Street truck had a aluminum bed in it. Before that, it had a wood bed in it, and yeah. I could never keep that thing and decent. that one was a tilt bed yeah. because you wanted to show off that. Well, that and I couldn't more. get the tires out from underneath it. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, that, that was the other problem. And then, how about back here? It's a flat tailgate. Flat tailgate. But the finch driver came in, did yep. your signage there, mm -hmm. right? Right. And I love your sign. Hang here. It's yeah. was junk. Mm -hmm. So how bad was it when you got it? It actually was body parts. Uh, it was not even a complete truck. Um, cab, the bed is all new. Um, the doors are original to the truck and one fender is original to the truck. That's so. awesome. What about your Coca-Cola? Is that actually a cooler? It is a cooler. Oh, okay. um, so I don't always bring the trailer, so I wanted something that, um, we'll show that. you here, yeah. What we got here? It's a matching trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the same colors, same wheels. Is it just for storage? Or yeah, have, yeah, uh, we'll open it up here. I keep uh, 
give them other cooler, tent, chairs, cleaning products, tools, everything and it's you need. Got a mirror up in there so you can see. No, that's yeah. not a mirror. Okay, it's just I painted. Just, it's I a saw, glare. Yeah, it's just painted. I saw the um, the the fabric and I was yeah. like, I thought it was reflecting down on uh -huh. the inside there. Well, that's pretty cool. I love it. And you got the French tin mm -hmm. tail lights here. Right. That's clean. Wow. What were you going to show me over here? Oh, my other little cooler. Yeah. That's just basically a it, cooler cooler. Yeah. So I, if I don't uh, if I don't want to bring the trailer, I just wanted to still have a cooler that wasn't going to flop around in there. So I designed this here. Um, actually, just a little Coca-Cola cooler, replica one. but Yeah. But it's pop, bolted down. Yeah, it's bolted down. Pop it off and you can get inside whatever you need, you know. Yeah. So I love it. And it's so. kind of a contrast to your green. Yeah, just a little something. It picks up some of the pinstriping in there when they pinstripe yeah. the, the line around it. So what other kinds of modifications have you done that I have we haven't picked up on yet? Well one of the things that a lot of people they don't ever really notice is there's a roll pan between the bed and the cab. So that you don't see the frame. Right. The frame was up. Yeah. Yeah. Right I love it. That's a yeah. cool idea. Yeah. So they don't you don't see that a lot. Um, and those wheels. What kind of wheels are they? They're um, aluminum rallies. Uh, you know, they're from Rev Wheels. Okay. Yeah. They're they're sharp. Yeah. And I like the way they are painted to match your sure. cab. The cab top. Yes. That's very cool. Wow. So this is quite the rig. Well, thank Everybody, you. You know, this is one of those rides that you just see around and you go, wow, that is so clean. And I'll bet you it rides as good as a modern. It actually does. Yeah. It, this thing rides, it actually rides nicer than a lot of the stuff. Yeah. And speaking of rides, I'm sure this beautiful interior that you did is part of that beautiful ride. So you've got bucket seats with a console and the original dash mm -hmm. with the tilt wheel. What else is going on in here that we need to know about? Uh, it's got air conditioning. Yeah. Um, of course, it comes down through the bottom side. The radio, secret uh, radio is inside the console or inside uh, the glove box. And, and it's, a, it's so small too. Yep. It fits in there beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we don't see that. Um, and you got a leather, uh, leather headliner. Yep. And what kind of leather and seat material do we have here? The seat's a tweed. Um, and the leather actually is a man-made product. It's a I can't remember the name of that. Like a camel leather style. Yeah, it's a camel style, yeah. yeah. It's gorgeous. Love Thank it. you. Wow. And the console, you have a, that's got to be hand built, right? Yes, console had made that just to kind of fit between the seats. Does it open up or is it? No, it does. It just has two cup holders in cup it. Cup holders, yeah. and then it fits right in between, and you have a, a Chevy logo in the middle. That's cool. And seat belts. And seat belts, yes. <laughs> and they're over the shoulder seat yes. belts. I'm going to have to talk to you about those. I need to do that on the Raven yeah. truck. So it's beautiful. So well, thank you. You got. I'm glad you came out here. It's good to know that you're in well, Tennessee now. Yes. Yeah. We were enjoying it. Been here about 26 years now. Beautiful. So uh, you got me. Be you know we've been here three or four years. Well, now. good. Well, I look forward to seeing you around. Yeah. I think we're going to hook up. We will. Yeah. Oh, you know the other thing I noticed is you filled the seam. Yes. On the. Uh, mm -hmm on the hood because a lot of these were two piece they are yeah and a lot of people are now cleaning them up and putting them in as a yeah weld them together piece. and then fill them yeah that's beautiful yeah all right well guys thanks for hey thank you appreciate meeting. it okay. yeah thanks Have for talking day. with us thanks. and guys we're gonna head out and check out more trucks that are here at the smoky mountain nationals